Hey, what's going on? It's James Canzanella, your Affilio Hero, and in this video, I'm going to be going over a nice little email marketing follow-up sequence that works perfect for affiliate marketers, for internet marketers, whether you have a product, offer, or service, whether you want to deliver value. Pretty much, you can utilize it for anything, but of course, since this channel specializes in affiliate marketing, this is what I'm going to be kind of combining this follow-up sequence with. Now, previously, in case you missed out, I did do a video when it comes to email marketing for affiliate marketers specifically where I talked about my A5 formula, which I put here. I'm not going to go over again. I explained it and actually did an email on the spot utilizing that. So since you know how to do the actual uh, emails when it comes to affiliate marketing or just email marketing in general, I'm not going to go over that. There's always the video. You can check it out. Now I want to continue on to the email follow-up section where this is going to be much easier. And all you need to do is pretty much follow a very simple formula. You can tweak it around. You can add a little bit more to it, do a little bit less. It's going to be completely up to you. But that's what this video is about. So before we begin, uh, if you don't have any type of email marketing autoresponder, I do recommend GetResponse. It's completely free for 30 days. You don't even need a credit card. I'll put a link or a button or something down below where you can actually get started with that in case you don't have any type of autoresponder because that wouldn't be good. You wouldn't be able to send uh, follow-ups or emails or messages and then you're not going to be able to actually utilize this awesome training. So this one's going to be much quicker, but still very valuable. So what I've noticed is that when it comes to email marketing, a lot of times is that you can start collecting emails and if you don't do anything with it, a lot of times you can actually just kind of let your emails sit around there. And that's actually the worst thing because if you don't email that frequently, uh, they're pretty much going to forget you. And it doesn't matter how important you are. It doesn't matter if you are, unless you're Mark Zuckerberg or something. I remember Russell Brunson once saying that if he doesn't email, like if he goes like a week without emailing, people are going to forget about him. Russell Brunson, the dude who created ClickFunnels, like the godfather of internet marketing, probably close up to there when it comes to that status, but uh, that's just how it is. In fact, I did that. I went very long without uh, emailing my subscribers, and they forgot about me. My open rates just plummeted horribly. Uh, my open and click-through rates were so bad that I pretty much just like deleted all the emails, and there was thousands of customers on there, so uh, that's the power of doing follow-ups. They can be automated, and when you do them, you put it in there, and when you get a new subscriber, they roll through, so as long as you're just every now and then adding new follow-ups, you're going to be in the clear. People aren't going to forget about you. Uh, like People say that sometimes people email too much. I think the real problem is emailing too little, okay? So here's with all that being said now that we have all the benefits this is a very simple section so what i like doing is doing a value email another value email <laughs> this thing's flipping out just because it's moving down but anyway value value and then we have review promo that's it now it can be very different depending on what i'm going to be promoting for example if i'm promoting a webinar i might do like value 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 and then like review review these are each emails and then promo, promo, something along the lines of that. So uh, because the fact of the matter is that say if you were selling something that's a thousand or $2,000, you need to get someone to a webinar. Uh, when you send to value videos like this, it always has the opportunity to add that webinar under it. And then of course you get two spots, you know, to send someone to review and then promo is usually like a bonus page. Okay. So let's kind of go back to where it was before. So review and then promo. So what do you want to do with these? Obviously, we talk about how to do an email in a previous uh, video, so that's going to be covered. But pretty much the entire idea of this is giving value. So any type of value, I prefer video because it's easy to do. It's quickest to do. You could send value through a training. It could be through a blog post. It could be through a PDF. But the fact of the matter is that when you're doing your two value videos, let me, so for value, notes, make sure it's related to what you're offering, okay? So when it comes to these two value videos you're gonna be doing in this sequence, you know, for promoting an offer, uh, let's say you're going to be promoting a ClickBank offer. The value videos you wanna do are probably going to need to be related to promoting ClickBank offers. Now that's a very wide range. It could be like doing Facebook marketing. You know, you could do a tutorial when it comes to Facebook marketing. If you wanna do Facebook ads and say like, hey, if you'd like more help when it comes to utilizing paid advertising or Facebook ads to promote ClickBank offers, check out the, uh, you know, the offer or recommendation down below. That's an example of one. Or another example, let's say you were in the golf niche and people were interested in hitting farther drives. Value video could be just kind of like going over what makes a driver so beneficial, you know, whether it's the lightweight or so on and so forth. Then at the end, you could talk about something like, hey, if you were looking for uh, to hit your ball, you know, much farther, check out the resource down below. Or for example, 
If someone wants to be able to, you know, stop three putting or putt better, you could do a thing where you talk about your putting stance. We actually give value. You know, you go out there and pretty much, you know, record yourself. Obviously, if this was with golf, show like a nice stance, how you can actually set up and give them a little exercise or tip that's actually going to help them. And then, of course, if they want more, they can check out the resource down below. This is the whole idea of value. And the good thing about this is that it allows people to keep coming back to get valuable information where you're not giving away everything. But if they do want more help, they can check out the resource that's going to be related to it. All right. You see how that works? This is also a great cycle because you can repeat this for as long as you want. Uh, If you have any type of offers, services, it could be someone else's. It could be your own. It's just something that repeats, recycles over and over and over again. So let's say we are going to be in the golf niche. So let's say like we wanted to do for golf and then like. Uh, better golf swing. Okay. This was like the idea for it. This is this section. People want to learn how to get a better golf swing. So first value video could be, uh, you know, secret stance technique, you know, how you're going to stand when it comes to swinging the golf club. You got to get that right first, obviously, because if you're, if you're standing cross-legged and you're trying to swing a golf club, that's going to make a big deal. It's going to be very difficult to do. That's obviously not where you're going to be teaching them, but that can be in a very important aspect of it. You could do a value video when it comes to that. So the next day, if you want to do an email every day, or I like email every two days, uh, just cause it's just easier to do, because if you do an email every day, you're going to have to do a lot of work very quickly, just so like people don't catch up to it. But either way, uh, another one could be, let's see, you know, the back swing multiplier. Okay. And obviously you're making the titles cool. So like the backswing multiplier, I just made that up, but it would be something that happens in your backswing where you turn your wrist in a very specific way and it allows you to actually generate more torque uh, where you're not swinging as fast, but you're making better contact and actually hitting the ball farther while also having a nice fluent swing at the same time. These are all big benefits when it comes to that. So you could show them this one little tip. It's not giving away everything when it comes to a better golf swing, but it's something that's going to help them out. They're going to get value from it. And when they read, excuse me, read, when they watch videos like that, it's going to make them more custom to come back and see what else you're doing. And of course, at the end of the video, you could say, hey, in case you want to, you know, uh, get a better golf swing, this is where I learned how to get my golf swing from, I really think it's going to help you out. Something as simple as that. It's all about value, but at the same time, you can provide an affiliate link where if someone wants more information, they can invest in that. You can offer bonuses and so on and so forth. But that's an example of the value emails, okay? You obviously, we talked about how to write the emails when it comes to these. And this would be email number one. This would be email number two, email number two. And of course, then we go into the review section. So remember, let's say we were, you know, recommending a golf swing product for these. Now, by now, there's a good chance they've watched your videos. They've at least checked it out. Now you can actually do a full blown review on. So let's just call it better golf swing review. Let's just say the product was that what you would do is you would do a review for it. You would go over it. Maybe if there was a members area, you could take a video screenshot of that. Maybe you could do a video of your own golf swing. Maybe you can talk about how you improved, how it took a ton of strokes off your game, how people love playing golf with you now, because now you've got this beautiful swing and everyone thinks you're a pro and it makes them feel better and makes them better golfers, whatever it's going to be. You know how reviews are. I don't need to go over that uh, in too much detail, but that would be sent to a review where maybe it's probably going to be on a landing page. And of course, under that, instead of having a link straight to the sales letter, you can do a link to your bonus page, which is going to be the last part. So the promo, uh, this is the one email you do where it's more about like, Hey, by now you've seen the better golf swing review, but I actually am hooking you up with 10 bonuses when it comes to the better golf swing. So when you actually get it today, you're going to get these 10 bonuses and you would send to your bridge page which is also referred to as a pre-sell page or a bonus page. Okay. I'm sure you've seen those before. I do those all the time for every type of offer. I pretty much recommend because uh, they increase conversions and people love bonuses. If they were going to get say the better golf swing review, do you think they're going to rather get it with no bonuses or 10 bonuses? Even if those bonuses were the worst in the world, they're still going to be slightly beneficial. They probably wouldn't be the worst in the world because that usually doesn't happen that way. But, but this last email is going to go to the bridge page slash pre page slash bonus page, whatever you want to call it, where they've at least heard about the product offer or service. And then maybe they've seen a review. And then last but not least, and then you're going to say when they get started with the golf, better golf swing system, you know, you're going to be giving them all these bonuses that are related to it. You know, bonuses that could relate to golf, something about having a slower swing, but more accurate swing, something obviously that the system doesn't cover. Maybe you want to throw in some putting into there. Maybe you want to throw how to have uh, hit longer drives, whatever it's going to be. This isn't a video about affiliate marketing bonus, but you get the idea. And 
I'm just going to delete this because that's a, an important factor. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that right there. Make sure it's related to what you're offering. So this is kind of like the four email loop. Like I said, it could be five, could be six. You could add more uh, value videos and then obviously you could do two emails where one goes to the review, the next day goes to the other one because not everyone is going to open up your email, so keep that in mind. Same thing with the promo. If you wanted to stretch this out longer, you could probably do two review emails, two promo videos. And like I said, make sure everything is related to what you're offering. So once you finish this up, you'd probably repeat it again. So you would do like, Follow-ups, we're still in the golf niche. And next, you know, you can maybe focus on putting, okay? Maybe there's like putting secrets or something or long drive secrets, whatever it's going to be. Then the value videos are all going to be about putting. Obviously, the review would be about a putting product and the promo would be bonuses when people get the putting system, okay? So that's pretty much the four cycle loop. It could be much more than that, but you can pretty much continue this until end of time with whatever offer that you like. Obviously, if it's good, like for example, when it comes to internet marketing and affiliate marketing, there are a ton of offers out there, but doesn't mean all of them are worth promoting. And the better that they are, obviously you're gonna to wanna to promote them. And if they're evergreen, usually when people launch products and a lot of times they just wanna bring them down to make money, that's not gonna be a good evergreen offer because it's gonna be here today and gone tomorrow. So that means you would just have to change up your follow-up. So I wouldn't recommend something that's not going to be around a long time. You're not always going to know that, but a lot of times when products are solid, you have a good idea, kind of like ClickFunnels is a good example. That's probably gonna be around for a while, but that's just my guess. We also never know that completely. Either way, that is uh, email marketing for affiliate marketers when it comes to follow-up sequences. Even if you're not an affiliate marketer, you can make some use of this. Uh, plenty of value for you to uh, learn from that. Either way, once again, I'm James Canzanella. Thank you for watching. As always, be sure to check out the link down below. Like I said, provide value. And then if there's something that's recommended or related to this, just like I talk about in this, I will have a link or button down below for a free get response trial. No credit card required. Just uh, test it out and do your thing. All right. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.